God has a purpose for every human here on earth and you should not miss yours. Nigerians would say, follow no rodo. <laughs> and what does that really mean if you're not a Nigerian watching this? It means you as a tourist going somewhere that you do not know the environment, you're not familiar with the environment. When you get to that environment, you need a guide, tourist guide who would lead you guide you to places and you have to trust your guide that your guide knows what he or she is doing you are going with your guide because this terrain this environment is unfamiliar to you destiny has chosen us no matter anything that we get to do in life it is like something is drawing us is pulling us like a navigation like this is not the way hi welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i am om in today's video i want to speak about why god's destiny for you is not your choice but his will this train of thought landed on my heart and i quote destiny choose you you did not choose it purpose choose you you did not choose it now when this thought landed in my heart it started brooding and i was like it is true destiny actually chooses us we don't get to choose our destiny it is the creator by design that creates the destiny of what it makes so our destiny has already been designed and prescribed we only need to discover destiny that's why we talk about destiny discovery not destiny creation our destiny is already created with us being created because before anything is created the destiny and the purpose of it has already been defined so it means for each of us for you and me our destiny chooses us for it shall save his people from their sins speaking of jesus his destiny chose him to be the savior joseph the deliverer his destiny chose him and he could not escape it david said where can i run from your presence how can i escape you you know me in and out psalm 139 this gave me a lot of thought and i realized that when it comes to our destiny our destiny chooses us we don't get to choose our destiny we can only have detours which is we make our own decisions, we go on our own plans, but then all the diversions that we make will either delay us from getting to the destination and the destiny, the purpose that God designed for us to walk in and do the calling that we were called to do. Now, to not lengthen this introduction, let me go straight to the video. The reality is that there are things that we deeply desire and those things that we desire, I call it ambition. And there are also things that is required of us. That is what I call purpose. What we desire is our ambition. That is what we want. That is what we want to see. But based on the grand scheme of life and understanding that destiny chooses you, what is required of you is purpose. It's what I term purpose, which means your purpose is what is required of you to live the life here on earth. Now, I understand when the scripture says that we should delight ourselves in the Lord, that it will give us the desires of our heart, which clearly I've said in a lot of my videos, delight yourself in the Lord. There did not say be cheerful in the Lord. It literally said be soft in God's hands. Let God be able to bend you, to turn you, to lead you, to direct you. That is what the word delight means though. I came to this understanding that when what is required of us, which is our purpose, aligns with what we desire, which is, this is what we desire. I desire to walk in my purpose. Then we have come to a place of aligning with God. When it comes to destiny, because my destiny has already chose me, all I have to do is to bend myself over to God and let God lead me. Let God direct me because this road to me is very unfamiliar i'll give you this analogy the purpose of a car is to transport people or things from one place to another that is why the frame of the car the engine and the overall makeup of the car is for it to be able to carry out its intended purpose but whenever the car cannot carry out its intended purpose which is to transport people or things from one place to another which is to be able to move it means that car has been rendered useless and it cannot be used as a bed neither can the car be used as a storage place sometimes in the mechanic shop or on the road i see some cars that have been abandoned and they've been there for years nobody uses it as bed neither is it used as storage place it is useless at that point because it is not doing its intended function and also no matter how sophisticated the car looks 
on the outward if the core things that will make it fulfill its purpose is not working the wheels are not working the tires are not working the engine is not working the car is as useless as anything can be useless because it cannot fulfill its intended purpose the purpose that it has to do is to be able to transport people or transport things from one place to another and i would also come in with this thought that even though the car may not look sophisticated if it can carry out its purpose it's useful i see a lot of cars that are not looking good the frame are not looking good but then they are doing its work then that's it the reality is we are so much focused on the symbols of purpose how we get to look we are too enamored with that that we have lost sight of the fact that it's not about the sophistication the sophistication is important because the way you dress, the way people look at you, and the way you carry yourself will be the way you are addressed on this realm as a human. But then, that is not the most important thing. Your frame can look beautiful. Your frame can look good. But then, if you're not working in purpose, you still be unfulfilled. You still feel useless. That is why you need to align with God so that the intended purpose that he has for you would come to pass. Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Which means we are allowed to make plans. It is not like, oh, don't make any plans so that God will not disrupt your plans. It's make plans and trust God to direct you. Which is, you're going back to the place of delighting yourself in the Lord, being humble before God, being soft in the hands of God, like asking God, you, you can lead me. I am open for you to direct me. It is at this point that I get to understand why some people would think they have figured life out and they keep living, becoming successful, do a lot of things and all of that. And they get to a point in their life that they become so confused because they don't feel fulfilled. And they're like, what is wrong? Something is wrong. Something is off somewhere, but they do not know what is off. They can't figure out that is the cause of confusion. They don't know what is off because they cannot feel fulfilled. They have gotten all the things they wished they wanted to get. They have gotten all their ambitions what they desired but then what was required of them they have not worked in it somehow that's what leaves them feeling empty what was required of them was solomon said it the old duty of man is to fear god and keep his commandments to be in alignment with god to worship and reverence god and keep his commandments of course being successful in life is god's plan for his children being healthy is God's plan for his children. Being wealthy is God's plan for his children. But we are not to pursue those things at the expense of missing God himself. Because he's our creator. We need to align with him first of all for us to be able to attain destiny. Because our destiny chooses us first. So we have to come to a place of accepting our destiny and choosing it. Some of us don't get to choose our destiny because it doesn't look like what we desire. And that's why I brought in those two things, what you desire versus what is required of you. You have to come to a place of knowing what is required of me from God is most important for me than what I choose, than what I desire. Because you might want to become a certain thing here on earth and God is like, that wouldn't lead you to the calling and fulfilling the purpose that I have for you on earth. Maybe you were meant to be a doctor and you went to study engineering to become an engineer. Somehow, God has his way of allowing you to go through that detour till he brings you back to becoming the doctor to save the life that you were meant to save. Not to build the houses that you wanted to build or construct the roads you wanted to construct because that seemed good to you. There's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end of it is a way of death. That's why we should not go after what seems right, what looks right, what feels right, but what is really right, which is what God ordains for our lives. God told Jeremiah, before you were born, before your mom conceived you in the womb, I knew you and I choose you. I ordained you to be a prophet. His destiny has already chosen him from the womb. This is blessing me because I'm now having more reason to really align with God and align with everything and say yes, yes to his will, yes to his way. Because no matter how many detours I will take, he will direct my steps. <laughs> I can make my plans, but he will direct my steps. I was having the analogy of like putting a location on the map and driving and then it's giving you direction to go but you decide to take a detour the detour might delay you the detour might lead you to bad roads because 
the navigation will still lead you back to the location that you are supposed to go. And that's what I feel about how the destiny is being designed for us. Because our destiny has chosen us, no matter anything that we get to do in life, it is like something is drawing us, is pulling us like a navigation, like this is not the way, directing us to the way. And no matter how much we deter, sometimes some people do it till they lose their life and their generation have to come up to fulfill the purpose they were meant to fulfill, which they could not. God has a purpose for every family. God has a purpose for every human here on earth and you should not miss yours. The last point I want to talk about here, about your destiny choosing you and why your destiny is not your choice, but God's will for you is follow Uno Road. Nigerians would say follow Uno Road. Oh. <laughs> and what does that really mean if you're not a Nigerian watching this? It means like you as a tourist going somewhere that you do not know the environment you're not familiar with the environment when you get to that environment you need a guide tourist guide who would lead you guide you to places and you have to trust your guide that your guide knows what he or she is doing so now you are going with your guide because this terrain this environment is unfamiliar to you that's why you follow the guide and whatever they show you, wherever they take you, you follow them because you trust that they understand the terrain, they understand the road, they understand the journey more than you. So it's clearly like saying everybody needs guidance, everybody needs leading. And most importantly, when it comes to destiny, we all need God to lead us. And thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ, who did not leave us alone, but gave us a helper, a counselor, a comforter, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here with us as our tour guide. Because this terrain called life on earth is unfamiliar to us. This terrain called living on earth is unfamiliar to each and every one of us. No, no, for us has figured it out. If you are, if you like, be 100 years old, be 60, be 70, be 10, be 20, nobody has figured life out. Even at 70, some people still try to figure out why things are happening. They can only learn lessons to share their experiences with other people, maybe from their mistakes and what they did right, they share their experiences, but that doesn't mean that their experience can apply directly to someone else but someone can learn from their experience so which means their guide can only add but it's not like it's the ultimate guide because they are aged doesn't mean they have figured it out so none of us get to figure life out but then we get to work with our tour guide the holy spirit and i don't know if you have abandoned your tour guide and stop trusting him and moved ahead to do it your own way, thinking you know what you are doing, thinking you know the road more than he does. And it's like, I've been here before you. I designed your destiny. I designed your makeup. I designed the way you are, the way you look, the way you walk, your height and everything, your body size. I designed it and you were designed on purpose. You were made by design. So all of you, your makeup was to fulfill the purpose that was made for you and your purpose does not look like that of your neighbor your neighbor is a singer your brother is a singer your family as singers doesn't mean you are supposed to be a singer yeah sometimes it could happen all the family sings but that doesn't mean that's your ultimate purpose you have to align with your tour guide when you get to an unfamiliar place don't claim to know don't let your ignorance and pride lead you to destruction allow your tour guide to lead you scripture says in first corinthians 2 verse 11 no one can know a person's thoughts except the person's own spirit and no one can know god's thoughts except god's own spirit god's thought concerning you and i based on our destiny only the spirit of god knows the thoughts of god concerning us i am thankful to god that is our tour guide we shall never miss our way follow no road <laughs> you're not the one to create the path and say this is what i must do your destiny has already chosen you. You don't get to choose it. You only accept it. When I say choose your destiny, I mean accept the destiny God has designed for you. Walk with him and see the wonderful things he's going to do in your life. It doesn't matter if it doesn't sound good, look good to you. If God says you should proclaim the gospel, then that's your destiny. You shouldn't say, no, I don't want to proclaim the gospel. I want to be in the business place. You'll be wasting. The car cannot say, I don't want to be a car. I just want to be a boat. I want to be on the sea. <laughs> it cannot function because it's makeup and everything wasn't meant to survive there so that was why it was meant to transport people on land the aeroplane was meant to transport where it does transport not to drive on the road everything 
has its purpose. You and I have our purpose. And it is in aligning with God and our tour guide, the Holy Spirit, choose the destiny that has already chosen you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I hope that this video will be a blessing to you. And you are going to be impacted with this truth of God's word. Amen.